I'm not going to sing. <laughs> Yeah, that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right. Uh, phew. Uh, my missionary from our church is the Suttons, and the Suttons are located in Australia. Does everyone know where Australia is? Okay, if you don't, let's look at our map. All right. All right. We're about right over here, and Australia is up under the bowler room, okay? It's down under, not up under, it's down under the bowler room. So they are a, they are a good piece from us. So, uh, but I do have their, their letter from around Christmas, and... And their family is Kyle, that's the dad, and Jamie. And then they have two sons, Jonathan and David. So be praying for them. And I'll read you a little bit from their, their newsletter here. Throughout this year of our Lord Jesus Christ, 2022, we have endeavored to take the joyful gospel tidings of Christ's free salvation and full pardon from sin to all peoples dwelling here in multicultural Melbourne, Australia. Okay, I'm skipping a little bit. We close out this year by distributing a, distributing a Christmas message. This is the time of year when Aussies open the doors of their hearts ever so slightly. Even, they even sing Christmas carols in the park which speak of God in Christ. They might even attend church at the time for their annual appearance. And then skipping down some more. In the new year, which is this year, 2023, uh, the year of our Lord, we will be focusing on reaching Jewish people. We have an exciting new message to take to them, which we will reveal to you in our January, February prayer newsletter. We ask you to be praying in advance as we write a new gospel track for the Jewish people of Melbourne and develop various accompanying strategies to deliver it to them throughout the year. And then they, they did uh, thank us for our, our financial gifts, prayers, faith, and cards of encouragement and Christian love. And they said since Australia is the driest continent on earth, both geographically and spiritually, we need your prayerful support all the more. And so uh, they, they, it sounds like they, Michelle's got a brother who lives in Australia, and, uh, and it is a wicked place, just like America. I mean, they have spots, I'm sure, that are worse than others. But I did write him a, uh, an email uh, like the 1st of January, and he wrote back, said, thanks for writing. God bless you both. The Lord's coming is nearing for sure. We're all doing well here, just beginning to do a 12-week discipleship with a new convert who once came to our church about three years ago. He got saved eight months ago, and he, was and he has been hiding out at his house so as not to get into trouble with his old Muse friends, just bad friends. Discipleship will make him stronger, so pre please pray for Ilhan and East Timorish youth. And, and so that's, uh, that's their burden right now is reaching the Jewish uh, people and also just the local people where they're located. So give, hey. give them your prayers. Oh, it's not listed here. She must be older or something. She's living with uh, Jamie's parents. Oh, okay. Where she was the last time I talked to Jamie. All right. Yeah, I just used the names they had listed. So. The boys are still there in Australia. They must have got rid of her. So. 